Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and share the link with whoever you know. Um, you know, I've been asked a question today. Uh, do you think that Joe Biden is going to win? And, you know, if actually, if you look at the TV, it looks like he is going to win. I mean, it looks like he is 100% a winner, you know. Uh, CNN, NBC, CBC, FC, so CCC, all the CC, NBC, CNN, all all the you know the, the the left media and you know add to this uh, all every scumbag in hollywood is a sponsor in biden uh, i mean we do not need to name them all of them you know famous actors who they are really disgusting people and i say disgusting i mean they hate the man before he do anything the guy he did not even go to the white house yet he did not do anything they start speaking evil against him. I mean, at least wait for him to do something. So those evil people, you know, they have a lot of fan, a lot of supporters, especially from the young ones. There's many young ones like, you know, uh, they, they worship, they are idols, you know, they call them idols for a reason because they are like, like God for them. You will find people you know, like Shakira. I mean, what Shakira have to do with USA? I have no idea. I mean, Shakira is speaking against Trump. What she have to do? What Shakira have to do with USA? I have no. You tell me. You know, even uh, even this this uh, this, this woman speaking against Trump. Why? Uh, because he closed border. If we go to your country, you would be, you you would kick me out too. In your country. And we look at those stupid people because he closed the borders. So in order to make Shakira happy, why Shakira? You have a door. Shakira, do you have a window? Do you have security? Do you have anybody guards? Why you don't open your door to everybody? Anybody can come. So you need to notice that every scumbag from around the world, not only inside USA, is against Trump. And if you look at the reason, you will see that they themselves, they practice what Trump he did, but they claim they don't. All of them, they have fence around their houses. All of them, they have bodyguards. All of them, they have uh, police, uh, uh, bodyguard company, private bodyguard company, uh, uh, bulletproof windows. So those are the one who will tell us who to vote for, for who. Those are the same one who vote for killing babies. So closing the border is a crime, but killing babies is good. Why? Because we want to have sex, boom, boom, and then we don't want to have a consequence of having the baby. So we, what we do, we go to the toilet and dump him there. Those are the same people. Trump is a bad person. They are the good ones. You know, when Obama was a president, do you know that the Pentagon, they were out of animation, out of bombs? Can you believe it? In the time of o Obama, they were bombing million times more than any other time. Those are the, the Democrats, the, they speak for peace. And the funny is, because, you know, uh, Obama, he went to Cairo and he made a speech saying Islam is peace, they offer him Nobel Prize before doing anything. They did not do anything. He just became a president two weeks ago. Do you see how the propaganda work? So Trump, he have the biggest rich people in the world against him. And yet they accuse him that he protect the rich. If you check right now, who is against Trump? The owner of Amazon, the owner of Facebook, the owner of... Uh, Twitter, the owner of Google, I mean, everybody knows. Those are the most rich people in the world. Add to this, those are scammed back in front of us on the screen. I mean, yeah, Jessica is going to tell us who is the good president, you know? Actually, if we, if we play video of them speaking about Trump, you would die laughing. You will see that those are made. Ninety-nine percent of their brain is a stupidity, and the one left is 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 ignorance.
They made him racist. Like, why he's racist? What he did? You see this Camilla Harris, the one that she claimed she's black. She's the black, first of all. She put thousands of black people in jail. Trump, he released them. He released them. But he, he's, a, he's a racist. He made a special investment zone for black area where they are very poor. He's racist. He's a KKK. But Joe Biden saying that the black, uh, poor and black uh, children are smart the same as white kids is not racist. I mean, look at those idiots. So the war is big and the enemy is big. So if you think that Trump, he will win for, for granted, you're mistaken. He might very much lose. And I have another reason, actually, to believe that he might lose, too. Why? A, a conservative are lazy people, you know? They, are, they take things for granted. He will win. He will win. That's it. You know, he will win. And then what he will do? They will sleep at home. You know, nobody will go to vote. He will win, man. I mean, come on. People love him. He will win. No, my friend, he will not. Especially if you believe he will win. You know, if you remember 2006, me, myself, I believe them that Trump will not win. I believe it. I remember I have a live broadcast. I close early. I said, okay, guys, I'm, you know, this is a disgusting night. I don't want to see what will happen. <clears throat> we will have Hillary Clinton, a president, crazy woman. She said she will knock Russia. That's it. I mean, can you believe it? They are bringing us a, bu a bunch of maniac who they are saying, we will nuke Russia. Okay, so what is next after you nuke? They will nuke us. <laughs> I mean, don't give me this garbage in the, in the... And the funny, they say that the Republican are the war warrior. Biden, he, he is the one was behind George Bush in the war against Iraq. Actually, he planned to attack Iraq long before in the 1997. The same Joe bite me. So you will notice that all those people who they are speaking against Trump, you don't know why they are speaking against Trump. I mean, anyone have an idea? What this guy he did exactly? What is their problem? The problem is very simple. You have to get an idiot we choose, an idiot from us, he believe in the same garbage you believe in. What is the garbage you believe in? Well, we know we are people who like to have a ring in our belly bone, a ring in our tongue, a ring in our nose, a ring in our ear, a ring in our head, a ring in our private part. And if you do the same, you are a good person. If you don't do, eh, you are a bad person. As simple as that. So if you don't do, uh, you know, those people are like, like Islam, you know Islam? Muhammad, he says, I will kill you unless you do as we do. Eat as we eat. Pray as we pray. Slaughter as we slaughter. If you do that, then you are good. I will not kill you. You know, that's what they want. <clears throat> uh... America, for that America, the hard lot. What this guy is talking about? Uh, there is a girl who says she is a Christian and has 234k followers, telling that all not, all not to vote that America is the hard lot in Revelation 7. Uh, you know, I don't like stupid talk. Take care. The harlot is you. You see, people they take a take a, take a, uh, uh, take a phrase from the Bible, and they place it in anyone they want. So America now is the harlot. Why America is the harlot? Isn't it stupidity is amazing? What's wrong with you? And if you don't like America, leave America alone. Don't use their internet. You are using the internet of the harlot. Don't you know that the harlot eat 
I mean, made the internet for you? Don't use the harlot internet. They are good people, you know? They don't want the harlot America. But they die to come to America. They die to work in America. They die to use the, the, the technology of America. But they hate America. Stupidity is amazing. So, in 48 hours, we will have the election. And it's not going to finish in 48 hours, especially because the Supreme Court, they, uh, they said they will allow them to count after the hours is over, which is very stupid of the Supreme Court because that can create chaos, shooting. You never know what will happen. Very stupid decision of the Supreme Court extremely stupid you know those people they are like uh, made from stones in the supreme court they follow the law not what common sense they don't care really what will happen they care okay this is the law so we will follow the law the law it says logically we should do this but logically if you don't give the result right away people they might kill each other they don't care they have their own security they will be safe and secure so you know uh Trump he is going every like two hours to different location trying to get support, but don't depend on that because those people are stupid. Sorry, no, sorry to say, Americans are stupid people. Generally speaking, why? I mean, this guy he he ripped himself apart. This guy he just came out of Corona. He is seventy four years old. In the last election for the Congress, this guy he went to more than sixty places or seventy places exhausted which means every day he visit at least two places and yet the democrat they won the congress why because you know those who call themselves conservative they are lazy they are you know and same as democrat you know uh, but democrat now they are way way motivated I, you know I, I my neighbor showed me his phone he received more than 200 messages in his phone in one day from Democrat his wife too his daughter too his sons not a single message from Republican not a single one this is telling you that they have a great number of people working hard to convince people. At the same time, Trump, he has zero. Actually, if even if you look in the ad in YouTube, you will find 80, 90 ads made against Trump and one ad supporting Trump. Money, Bloomberg, the owner of Bloomberg, the scumbag, Amazon, Google, Facebook, Twitter, we are talking about big money against a guy who don't belong to them and he have no support. They will tell you that people are so excited. Well, those are the excited people. We can count on them. What about the rest of their home? We will see. And actually, the most, the big problem is if people relax and say, oh, he will win. You know, when people say, you will see, he will win, he will win, yeah, he will win, yeah, we will see. No, he might not win. Actually, mostly he will not win. Mostly he will not. Because there is no reason, actually, for him to win when everything is against him. Even his own people are against him. If you remember, this person, when he won the election, the same day, we have two scumbag. One, his name is John McCain, and the other one is Graham. Graham now, he is supporting Trump because he is hypocrite, and he ride the wave, like, the, you know, like, like Democrat. This guy is like, you know, he's, a, he's like a hyena, you know? Where is the dead body? He go for it. Doesn't matter who, you know, how long is dead, or, you know, he want to get a piece, piece of meat. So right away, the guy he just elected and his own party start ripping him off apart. Why? Because it wasn't planned for this. I wouldn't want this guy. Who is this guy? He is not even from our team. 
they want a scam back like John McCain. And by the way, John McCain, when he went to election, I supported him. I, I, I believe that he's a good guy. But then I noticed how this scam back he is. This is the same guy who went to Syria, took pictures with a terrorist who they are. They have in the top of their head, Allahu Akbar. And then when they ask him, well, aren't they those terrorists? He said to them, Allahu Akbar, mean God is great. <laughs> and he was going to kill all the Christians in Syria. So, you see, this is how sometimes things work. When Obama was going for election, I was so upset. I wanted this, this guy, John McCain, to win. Because I believe he's a veteran, he loves the state, he loves USA. It's, you know, he's a, like he's a good guy. And then after what happened, I said to myself, thank God that Obama, he won, not McCain. Can you believe it? I never thought ever I would say, thank God Obama won, not McCain. Because if it was McCain who won the election, he would destroy the Christians in Syria. Just to show you some idiot in the chat. Just to show you how his stupidity work. Shame on you, CP. McCain has been Republican for longer. Who cares how longer? He's a corrupt man. When you go and take pictures with a terrorist and support the terrorist Al-Qaeda in Syria, you are a filthy, stupid idiot. So he's a longer corrupt man. What the Bible says, you claim to be Christian, right? The Bible says, from their fruit you shall know them. How you are Republican and you support terrorists. You tell me. So shame on you to be stupid. Shame on you to call yourself a Christian and you defend such a man. And not only that, now they are getting his wife to slander Trump. See how filthy they are? Because they are planning to, to make her a senator too. Because, you know, they inherit the business. George Bush the father, George Bush the son, George Bush the brother, George Bush the grandson. Tomorrow you will see George uh, Obama the wife, Obama uh, daughter, Obama, etc. It's a business. Billy Clinton, the, the husband, Billy Clinton, uh, Hillary Clinton, the wife, then Chelsea Clinton, the daughter. It's a business. It's like, you know, it's like a royal families are inheriting us. And why John McCain was, was a, a senator for 30 years? I mean, what this guy he did? It's a scam. They don't want anyone to get in. And now they are getting the wife of this scam back to slander Trump time they traveled thousands of miles together visiting troops overseas and they developed the kind of friendship you don't see too often in the senate they disagreed on almost everything see they are friends john mccain and biden they are friends they are very good to each other they love each other and now she is coming to make you vote for joe biden but they are republican what is the stupid guy he said to me he's a republican so how how those people they are asking you to vote for biden that's mean they are a bunch of liars. They are not what they say. You see, the problem is we are not saying there's 100% good party people. I just say that Graham is a scam. McCain is a scam. Romney is a scam. There's many of them. They betray, you know. But this is not the topic. The topic is Trump is not one of them. You like him, you hate him. This is why they hated him all. They were against him. Actually, when when uh, 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 when Trump he decided to go for election, the Democrat they supported him. Do you know that? And the reason they supported him because they thought this is a joke. This guy will never win. So let us get the idiot in, in the stage. He will, you know, he will say things nobody like. But when they when he came in the stage, he started saying things and people love it. So in the beginning, they don't want any other one in the Republican to be in the stage. They want only Trump. It was their stupidity. The Democrat, they are the one who wanted Trump to be in the stage because they thought it's going to be easy win. You know what I mean? It's going to be super easy because this guy, he have history, women, uh, nightclubs, uh, you know, etc. You name it. So we can take him down easy. 
I mean, those conservative and those Christians will not vote for him. It's enough to release one audio of him about a women private part. And then all those people will be disgusted. So they were expecting something to happen and what happened was the opposite. And now they are using Republican in order to take him down because he really humiliated them. And because of this, I believe Trump, he will have a very hard time to win. Because, do you know, you know, you know the Judas story, right? The, you know, the one who betrayed Christ. We have a lot of them. And here we go. McCain was the first one to betray. Look at this filthy McCain, he, who is dead now. Thank to God. He took him. We are not done. They bring you his wife. It's a family business. The man he go, the wife take over. My husband knew Joe Biden a long time. They traveled thousands of miles together, visiting troops overseas, and they developed the kind of friendship you don't see too often. In the Senate, they disagreed on- Why, they are child molesters, both of them? Why is that? Why they are so friendly? How come they say that Democrats are totally, the, how come they are so close to each other? Because simply it's two faces of one coin. Two faces of one coin. You know, once I was talking to a very wealthy rich man who donated to four people who they are going to for mayor. You know, mayor, the job as a mayor. I said to him, how, how come you are donating for the four of them? He said, so if whoever win, he will be in my pocket. <laughs> Very simple. He he vote, he 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 donated to four of them. So he will have zero chance. He will not be a friend to the mayor. He's a businessman. And that's what they do here. They have two faces of one coin. One is called Republican, one is called Democrat. McCain he win, we are winning. Biden he win, we are winning. Hillary win, we are winning. Trump he win, we are not, because he is not the other side of the coin. That's why they hate him. And just to confirm that everybody is against him, name for me who is supporting him. Can you name for me who is supporting him? All the giants, Google, Facebook. By the way, if I ever lose the internet for a little bit, just refresh the page. You know, sometimes the internet is not good here. In case, all right? So, she knew Joe Biden. He's a good guy. He's a perfect guy. So, what about all the negative things your husband, he said about Obama and him in the election time? Suddenly, he became a good guy. Remember, Joe McC McCain, he was going against Obama. And he said a lot of negative things about Obama, which mean about Biden too. Suddenly, Mac is only, suddenly Joe Biden is the best man ever. Almost everything. They'd fight like hell on the floor, and then they'd go eat lunch together. Because they all- uh, Two chicken, they fight like hell in the floor, and they, then they go eat lunch, lunch together. How that can be? <laughs> so I'm not going to keep you long those are politician and we voted for Trump because he is not and I what I like about him actually is guy he say it as it is this is how it is he said they asked him what do you think about Islam he said Islam hate us have you ever heard of any leader he says that they don't. Why? Because they have to do politics. He said literally, Islam hate us. I feel there's a lot of hate in this religion. Okay, why he said that? Because he is not politician. He don't say, he don't do politics. He say things as it is. They ask him, uh, they accuse Saudi Arabia of killing the journalist. He said, well, so first of all, this guy is not a journalist. You know, Khashoggi is a terrorist. I can show you his picture with Osama bin Laden. 
Qatar, they paid USA newspaper to put him there and they don't pay him salary. His salary comes from Qatar. He is a Muslim Brotherhood. And the whole purpose is to influence USA against anyone who will fight the Muslim Brotherhood, which means they are trying their best to take over USA to make them believe Muslim Brotherhood is the solution for all the problems. So he is a terrorist inside our system. He had pictures with Osama bin Laden. He was a hitman for the Saudi family. And now they killed him. And now they are asking uh, Trump, aren't you going to do something about it? He said, they, they give us big check. This is the truth, all of you, you know. Why he want to go after him? This is a citizen of Saudi Arabia. And yet there is no proof, by the way, of anything happened. Even the body, that nobody was able to find it. And Erdogan, he says, Oh, Allahu Akbar, Aman, Rabbi Aman. Erdogan, he killed tens of thousands of people, not one journalist. Why you don't go after Erdogan? So, Qatar and the Qatar machine, you know, they want to replace Trump. Actually, you know, for me, as an Arab person who watch Arabic programs at like politics, I see who is supporting who. So I can tell you from now, the royal family in Saudi Arabia support Trump. Emirat support Trump. This is why if you open Sky News, it doesn't matter what language, you will see Sky News speak against Biden. Why? Because those are owned by those rich Arab in Emirat. If you open an Arabia TV, they speak against Biden. It's obvious. Now, why they support Trump? Because Trump simply, he is the only security they have left against Iran. Not because they love him. This guy, he made them pay for it. If Biden come, is going to switch. He is supported by Qatar. He is going to support the Muslim Brotherhood. And he promised the Muslims already in USA that he will have a minister in his cabinet who is a Muslim. You can go and watch the video if you don't believe me. They told him that the vote in Michigan is extremely important for Trump. So he went and made a video, says to the Muslims, quoting Muhammad, the terrorist, that if you see something wrong, change it by your hand, Prophet said. So he's asking the Muslims to change America by their hand. Start attacking us. Stupid quotation of a stupid man who dare who care nothing except winning election so the enemy is big who hate him who support him but the one who support him from the rich in america is way more than those actually the one, i mean the one who oppose him from the rich in america is way more than those who support him and you know in america money do a lot of work commercial advertising name for me how many tv stations to support trump you can say maybe 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 fox news even fox news they have liberals to attack trump in their program the rest 100 percent tv stations they are the enemy of trump When we show you those celebrity, each one of them, he made a post, 10 posts, 50 posts, 30 posts, all of them is against Trump. And look, if you go and watch what they say about Trump, Trump is fascist, Trump is, is a Nazi, uh, Trump is etc. You know, Trump is fascist. The fact they are the fascist. They burn churches. They burn the Bible. They want to take the cross down. They want to forbid the word God. They want to tell you what to eat, what not to eat. They are the same as Muhammad, you know, exactly like Muhammad. They want to control everything. They want to control if you can burn a fuel or not. They want to control how you use electricity. So they are a fascist people and they are willing to do anything to smear this man. This is why I say to you that if you think Trump will win. <laughs> that will be really a very hard mission to do.
what happened in 2006 it was a miracle and if it happened now it's going to be a miracle too me myself I'm going to go and vote no matter who is going to win because this is the risk the risk is they tell you that he will win so you stay home and you don't go the risk is to believe them if you believe them that he will lose anyway too you know like what happened in uh, in 2006 it worked against them by the way because they thought if they keep saying he will lose he will lose he will lose the poll saying the poll was saying that 10 percent to other trump and 90 percent to uh, hillary clinton i mean it's not like uh, closed they are not even <laughs> they're, he, it's a dream so if you ask me, okay, why am I going to vote? Uh, he will lose it anyway. Driving my car, going all the way there, vote in line and do the vote. I mean, it's a waste of... No, go. Because what happened when the, uh, when the, the Democrats, they did this game. They thought they will make people not to go and vote from the support of Trump. But what happened, the opposite. Democrat, relax. Okay, they said 90% she is winning, so why will we go and vote? <laughs> so it worked against them but I'm afraid this time the game will work against us if we believe them so you have to go and vote otherwise he will lose now what if he what if uh, Trump he lost the election well I believe that God is good and sometimes God he can use the fool for good as I said to you when Obama, he won the election, I was so upset. There's no question about that. A few years after, I was, I said, God, thank you that Obama, he won the election. Not McCain. McCain, he made it clear that we should attack Syria and we should, we should kill the Assad. You see, I don't care for the Assad, but all of us, we knew that the Christians in Syria, they are fighting with the Assad. And if the Assad go, all the Christians will be slaughtered. So the filthy McCain, he don't care how many people will be slaughtered. He care for political agenda and oil business. Let me find you the pictures of McCain. Here we go. And by the way, in the picture, al-Baghdadi was there too. Can you believe it? Al-Baghdadi himself was in the picture. $600 million sent by the support of McCain to those terrorists who were killing Christians and Shia and Alawi. The whole war, everybody knows, it's a war of religion, not a war about politics. They refuse this president because he is a Shia, or let us say he's an Alawi. All of us, we knew. And all of us, we knew that the whole target is we replace him because he refused to get a pipe, gas pipe, coming from Qatar all the way through Turkey. So we need to get rid of him. And the plan was going to be so easy. And then the Russian, they get involved, and the Russian, they flip the table on everybody, and John McCain gets screwed, Obama gets screwed, Erdogan gets screwed, all of them get screwed, and now they are dying one after one. Imagine if the one who visit those terrorists is a Trump. You see, Trump, he shake hands with the president of North Korea. They say, how you shake hands with dictators? Huh? So Obama, when he visited Hosni Mubarak in Egypt, was not a dictator? Obama, when he visited the king of Saudi Arabia, was not a dictator? The king of Jordan is not a dictator? I mean, every single friend you have in the Middle East, he is a dictator and he's a criminal. How you shake hands with the dictator Kim Jong Shin Song Chong? Mm -hmm. But you are shaking hands with the terrorists in Syria.
you are shaking hands with every single terrorist around the world. And Trump, actually, I mean, this guy came, he's a crazy man. He was going to New Guam, the island of Guam. Trump, one visit, eh, everything is fine now. We are not going to war. Which one you want? Shake hands and war? Or we don't shake hands and we nuke him and he nuke us and millions of people die? For sure we will win the war, but for sure millions of people will die. So which one is better? They want to make him the devil no matter what he do. They said nobody will sign a peace agreement with Israel from the Arab unless they give them Jerusalem. There we go. He gave them Jerusalem, Trump, and he proved all the, the rest of them wrong. Country after country are lining up to sign peace agreement with Jerusalem. Trump, he made them do it. And now they are bringing the corrupt and the family of the corrupt because they are corrupt like them. Ask yourself, what is the benefit of the wife of McCain to make this ad against Trump? You tell me. Always put their friendship and their country first. Now more than ever, we need a president who will put service before self. A president who will lead with courage and compassion. Yeah, a child molester, a criminal, a corrupt. His son, he is getting hundreds of millions for nothing. I mean, look at this. This guy, he was disowned. I, I am discharged from the, from the army, but I'm charged with honor. You see, when you leave the army, they give you a paper. It says how you've been discharged, honor or dishonor. His son was discharged for drugs, which means dishonor. How in the world? Somebody, he is not an engineer. He have nothing to do with oil. He never work in oil. He don't have even a certificate of putting two screws together. To be in a company, huge company, for gas and oil. Why he got the job? I want to apply for that job. Why this job is not given to your son? Why is not given to your daughter? Why to Biden's son? All of us, we knew. I mean, you don't need. And, and look how the media, they, they close their eyes. As if nothing happened. Imagine if the one who did that is the son of Trump. You remember the video of uh, Mike Dice, who uh, he, he asked a, 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 a liberal girl, a Democrat girl, about uh, Trump kids are killing the dinosaur. She said, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They are getting away with many things because, yeah, because uh, that's not right. Yeah, yeah. Killing dinosaur, you stupid. Just, just say anything about Trump. They will believe it. No, I don't have my uh, Skype open. I'm not going to debate Muslims unless he's a sheikh. We have, we, we have enough with those kids. Get me someone who's worth it, and then we don't talk to kids. Don't waste my time. Huh? Debate about what? I mean, you have kids, you will tell me I don't believe in this. Okay, goodbye. Yeah. Give me something worth it. We, we spend enough time with kids. Uh, and when a newspaper, which is liberal anyway, post an article in Twitter and in Facebook about Hunter Biden. Guess what? They hide it. Well, you hide it. If you look at my videos, actually, I have to take them down. Because I know YouTube sooner or later will go after me. I cannot keep my videos there. But if you make a video against Trump, it's going to stay there for 10 years. Nobody will take it. And look at this uh, this owner of uh, of a Twitter. He looked like Osama bin Laden. I mean, those are the ones who control our platform. This guy owns billions of dollars, and he is the one who decides who put what, who, what and what he's saying what. 
and then we get the partner of the son of uh, uh, Hunter, son of Biden. He brought everything in his hand. I mean, he have he have the text, he have the, the, you the first he have the messages, he have everything documented. Still, nothing happened. Not a single station of the liberals speak about what happened. I mean, the guy is a partner. And you know, if you say something proving to be wrong, false, you go to jail. You see, I cannot go and go in public and say, uh, this guy, he did this and that. Okay, then he will take me to jail for doing that if it's not true. You know what I mean? So why does guy want to risk his life and his future? And he's a businessman. 20 minutes of our interview a few hours ago with Tony Bobulinski, well-known international businessman who was asked by the Biden family to do business with them in China. He met with the former Vice President Joe Biden two separate times, and they talked about the China business deal. Now, this information has been out for several weeks. It's been in the hands of a number of different news organizations. The reason you're hearing a lot of this for the first time tonight on this show is because they have resolutely ignored it and tried to suppress the story. Joe Biden has rarely been asked about it, though there is an enormous amount of detail and documentation that no one has refuted because it's real. <laughs> you know, how they can refute it? Even, even Joe Biden don't dare this, to say, he doesn't dare to say this is not his laptop because later they will take him to court for what he's saying. I mean, is it obvious, even the guy who is accused, he don't dare to go on TV says, this is not my laptop. Because he cannot say that, that if the FBI have it already. You know what I mean? And yet they are going to make this guy a president. And imagine now how much money his son will make if his father became the big guy. Before last, uh, you know, before he was the vice president, now he will be the president. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh. Anyway, so. Is it possible Biden will win? Why not? The devil is powerful, my friend. The devil, and when I say the devil, I'm not talking about the devil himself. I'm saying the devil, he has many hands. And all the hands sponsor this person. So many of the Republicans, they think, oh, they will win, man. There's a lot of people love him, man. Okay, just wait. You never know. Do you know that in a state like Florida, I saw in the news, that Bloomberg, the businessman, the one who was trying to be a president, he get the list of all those who they cannot vote in Florida because they don't pay their tax or because they have a, a fine to pay or a crime they did, so they have to pay a fine, etc. And he will, he, you know, he he will he he start paying for every one fine so he can vote against Trump. See how the money works? This is bribe. This is literally a bribe. I will pay you money so you go and vote against Trump. And those people who they cannot pay the fine, they want to get rid of anyway. If I have a fine against me, $10,000, and I cannot pay it. And there's a guy, he says, oh, what I want from you, go vote against Trump. I will give you 10000 So why they want to do it? What Arabic version of Bible you are using? I don't use Arabic Bible version because translation is not correct. Uh, it's a translation. Arabic Bible or different Bible is translation. If the translation is not good, it's not good. It's a translation. We don't take a book to consider it a book unless it is accurate translation. Anyway, so is it possible he will win? Very high possibility. But for me as a believer, even if this idiot win, the Lord sometime he can make an idiot use him for something good. Obama was a very evil person who tried to establish Islamic State. Literally. And actually I said many, you know, if any of you remember, I have an interview with Osama Dakdok many years ago. I said in the interview, Obama will not leave his presidency until he established the Islamic State. 
Actually, one of you, he sent me an email saying to me or, you know, message saying, I cannot believe it. I heard this from you. This is many years before ISIS is established. Because we know the plan. The plan is to make Muslim Brotherhood in charge, start a caliphate. But this is what their plan, not ISIS. The plan is very simple. They want to make the Muslim Brotherhood control all the Middle East. And then Israel will be surrounded from every direction and they will wipe it off. And then one state will control a lot of oil, a lot of gas. And then they will become a big army and then they can invade Europe. Actually, they are invading Europe and they are not a big army. So imagine if they are. 11,000 illegal immigrants from Tunisia alone in less than three weeks to, to Italy. 11,000 Muslims enter Italy and the stupid Italian people, they think it's okay. And then we got a Tunisian from Tunisia who just came last month to France. He slaughtered three people. And one of them, he beheaded her, a woman. So European, they are suffering because we don't have they don't have someone like Trump and we will we will have the same fate with those Democrats. Those Democrats they want open they are hippie, you know the hippie? Sleep in the street. Go. If I right now if I go to California, what California is about, you know, just to show you how much successful they are. If they are successful, then we will not have what they have. All the states run by Democrat is a horrible state. People are leaving. Even Democrat himself, they are running away from there. Even Democrat, they are running away from there. The state of Democrat, they became a state of homeless. Homeless. English homeless in the street. Just type the word San Francisco. Just type the word uh, uh, Venice. Just type the word Los Angeles. Or New York. Everybody is leaving. And by the way, they are people who they are homeless, not necessarily don't have jobs. But because the stupid government there, they make everything impossible. So everything became so expensive, very high tax. You know, when, when, you, you, when you increase tax, maybe people, people don't understand. They said you will increase tax on uh, rich people. Uh, rich people never pay tax. Rich people never ever pay tax. It's you who pay it. Because all what they need to do, they move the tax on you. They increase the price. You know what I mean? They don't pay tax. A rich person, if he buy a car, he put it in his tax, in his business. If he buy an air condition, he put it in his business. If he change his tires, he put it in the business. If he, if his wife, she get a makeup, he put it in the business. You don't. You have to pay in full price of tax. He don't. All the expenses, he go for hunting, he, he put it in tax. He go for dinner with his friends, he put it in tax. It's a business meeting. Anything he do, Rich people don't pay tax. Poor people pay tax. Rich, they never pay tax. Because always they go and make it zero. Even Trump himself, he did not really pay I mean, much tax because simply he get the benefit. Invest here, invest there, and then they take it. Okay, how much you spend? I spend, uh, let us say, 500 million. How much you make? I, I, I made 500 million, so the tax is zero. <laughs> but you cannot do that as a poor person so they say to you we are going to tax the rich the fact they are taxing you and the result is you're homeless you can't pay for health insurance you cannot pay for anything you cannot afford even to have a to, to, to have a room to live with your family and then you get all those scumbag celebrity speaking about trump And additional to that, by the way, rich people, when you tax them, they leave. I mean, the, the, the first one to leave, if there is something wrong in a place, is the rich. Why? Because it's so easy. 
one phone call, ticket, money transfer, it's in the bank, bye-bye. He can go to Germany, he can go to Singapore, he can go to anywhere. They are businessmen. Everybody will come then. Do you know how many countries they will come you if you have more than $500,000? They give you even citizenship. Just 500,000. What about 500 million? It's very easy for rich people to leave. So when they tax them in New York, they are leaving and then New York is collapsing. They tax them in California, they are leaving and California is collapsing. Who is the one who's going to stay? The poor. Because they can't go anywhere. Do you think Americans are stupid? Americans are ignorant, my friend. They are uneducated people. You see, when I was in the Middle East, always I thought of the West highly that those Western, because I look at technology, I look at what they accomplish, so I think about them highly. But then when I came and I live in Europe, I live here, I live in many places, I noticed that Western people are very, very ignorant. Extremely. They know nothing about history. They know nothing about what's happening. They are in a different galaxy. I remember my neighbor, once we were driving, and we, you know, like in the news, they're talking about uh, Islam or something. So I said, you know what you expect, Osama bin Laden, you know, he's a Muslim. He said, really? Osama bin Laden is a Muslim? This was almost 10 years after the... You don't know that Osama bin Laden is a Muslim. Can you believe it? This is America, my friend. So this is why they are putting you an ad. They bring you an, the wife of John McCain. And she speak against Trump. And she speak about Biden that he is the most wonderful person. Why? Because in America, if you have money, you make a commercial. You will become president. It's all about the brainwash system, the same as Islam. Often in the Senate, they disagreed on almost everything. They'd fight like hell on the floor, and then they'd go eat lunch together uh -huh. because they always put their friendship and their country uh -huh. first. Uh -huh. Now more than ever, we need a president who will put service before self. A president who will lead with courage and compassion. See, suddenly he is the one who will lead the courage. He is the perfect person. He is a scumbag people, you know, business. This is the wife of John McCain. This is not a wife of somebody who is Democrat. This is the wife of a senator who spent most of his life as a, as a senator for Republican. So they use anyone he is a fraud for their fraud and money talk. When you see those celebrity, they call them celebrity, I don't know why, but anyway, they are supposedly celebrity especially if you show your boobs and your panty and you know, you are a celebrity. They call them celebrity and they are the one who wanna teach us who is going to be the good president. Hmm? Well, Trump, he proved that he is a good president. Economy is amazing, jobs. And now actually they accuse him that the virus is Trump virus. You know, look, they ask, they ask this, uh, this stupid idiot Biden, what is your plan for a virus? He said, wear a mask, put the mask. Okay, they are wearing masks in Europe, you donkey. And look, the virus is going crazy there. They shut down the country, the virus is going crazy there. Italy, France, England, they are wearing masks. So this is the plan, wear the mask. Suppose he solved it. That's it, we wear the mask, we are done. Virus is gone. And they want to fool you that this guy is going to destroy the virus. Biden versus, versus Corona. How? Just wear the mask. If the mask work, why you hide yourself in the basement for, 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 for almost uh, seven, eight months? Just wear the mask and you will be fine. Look at those people, man. Those are the ones who want to tell us we vote for who? Look at this donkey. You will notice that all of them, when they make a movie, they say the F word to Jesus. 
All of them, no exception. All of them, they make fun of Christianity in their movies. They make fun of the Bible. They make fun of Jesus. And yet you will find somebody he claimed to be Christian, and yet he is voting Democrat. Those are the ones who vote for killing babies. And yet you are going to vote for them to teach you how to live. In fact, they are teaching you how to die. Actually, if I play some videos of those people for you, you will die laughing when they speak about politics. Yeah, those are the people who tell us what to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Actually, this this one, I used to like his act, but since he started talking politics, I mean, I feel disgusting of him. If I see him, I will spit in his face. Filthy mouth. Like, okay, he don't like Trump, no problem, but he used every single filthy word in the dictionary of filth. I never thought he is so filthy, disgusting, until I heard him. All of them, they are scam. All of them, they are disgusting. Oh boy. I mean, she should be. Lady Gaga, she made a post against Trump just yesterday. I saw a video. I mean, come on. She proved that she had the skills and the qualification to tell us how to live and who to choose. How you can beat that? She is the one who will tell you how to be conservative. Let us move this picture. She is ugly anyway. Look at those. Some of them even coming from the museum. George Colony, he is married to a Muslim. Colony, whatever they call him. Look at this idiot too. Bladwin. Oh boy. I mean, you cannot be a celebrity unless you are naked. Oh boy, look at this one too. Yeah, and this one is the mo the biggest scumbag in history ever. So when we speak about Trump, you see, do you see how big the enemy is? All people who they are famous, they are against him. Who is with him? The poor one. His own party is against him. Senators are against him. Because they are fraud. They are corrupt. He took their business. You see, if you remember Graham, you know Senator Graham? Senator Graham, now he support Trump. But this guy, he was all over Trump with McCain. So what happened? This guy, he noticed that it's not working. Trump, really, people like him. And because he's a hyena, so he switched. He said to himself, uh-oh, coming election, I want to be a senator or no more, because if I keep attacking Trump, people will hate me. Those who support Trump, they are getting bigger and bigger. So he switched side overnight. If you go in the beginning, you will see Graham and McCain together. They were biting Trump, betraying him, trying to stab him in his back for the first two years of his election. Then McCain, he continued until he died, and then Graham, he switched because he noticed that he is being a fool. He have to take the side of the winner. So my friend, go and vote. We have 48 hours left for the election day. Go and vote because they are doing their best to make him lose. And if you don't, he will lose. Remember, California alone is almost half what Joe Biden he want or he need. Just a half. Just California alone. So they have California in their pocket already. And you know, the system in the USA is very bad. A lot of people in California, they want to vote for Trump. If you go right now and search for Trump rally, even in Beverly Hill, the center of the scumbags, you will find thousands of people going in the street supporting Trump. But those people vote will not help. Why? Because the system is bad. When the majority in a state, they win the election, the vote of all the state go for the one who win the number.
let me see if I can again guys if we if we lose a uh, connection for a second or something just refresh the page all right uh, so if you if you search if you search on YouTube like Beverly Hills you will find how he used and this is the heart of the of the Democrat you know this is the heart of the Democrat and people and you will see actually what I like very much that a lot of black people they are joining exposing the lies about Trump that he is racist look at this guy as an example let me see if I can put his video there Let us move it a little bit. See, they say to you that uh, the black people will never vote for Trump. Black people love Trump. And I hope black people will notice that this guy, he helped you. Obama was in the office for eight years. He did not even make one of you as a minister in his house or his cabinet. Let us move. Actually, this is way bigger than this one. Maybe this is the, the, the when they started to, to gather. Let me show you the other one. Give me a second. Let us see. It's better very soon. We going through the coronavirus and he gave us the chance to stay home with our family and give us money to, to just, you know, start all over. And that's the thanks he get? Come on, man. Y'all need to wake up, man. Wake and up. you need to get some shoes like and that. And get these kicks. These are the only ones, too. <laughs> yeah. Make <laughs> <your> wish, baby. <laughs> <laughs> some people are really funny. Anyway, so, you know, and by the way, the Democrats, they are terrified because a lot of the black people, they are switching their vote. Because through history, black people, they've been lied to and they've been taught that Democrat is the one who supports you. The fact Democrat is the, is, the, is, the, is, the, is the party of slavery. They never supported the black people. They are against them. They are the one who voted tons of times against freeing the slaves. They went in war for it. Imagine, this is in California. This is in the heart of California. And by the way, this has never happened before to any any Republican president. Never happened before. That in the heart of California, you get this. I mean, they block the city. You see how much support you have? And hold on, look at the picture. Do you see all of them? They are blonde. All of them, they are blonde. They say to you, the one who support Trump, they are blonde. They are redhead. They are they, they are blue eyes. They are green eyes. You see how they lie. I mean, do you see how blonde and Joe Biden? He says, if you don't, if you vote for Trump, you are not black. If you vote for Donald Trump. You are not black. He decide now what is your color. 
So if I vote for him now, I'm not an Arab. Actually, you know what? I'm not an Arab. I think I'm not. You know, because my dad, he told me that when they gave birth to me, him and my mom, they were hijacking an airplane. So like they hijacked the airplane on top of Singapore and then the airplane went on the top of uh, uh, Pakistan and then they went, uh, they, they refused to, uh, to accept them. So they continue and they went all the way to Europe. In France, they refused him. So I was coming, you know, I was coming. So I have all the citizenship. And then we went over Italy. And then, you know, we, we went all the way to Panama. And, they, you know, uh, and then they, they refused him too. So we went back to Africa. And, you know, and then I went all the way to Japan. And like, uh, because they were providing oil in the sky, brother. This is a true story. And then, brother, uh, because I was like, my mom, she was delivering me during the hijacking of my dad, because my dad, what he do for a living? He's an Arab, you know? So, uh, you know, uh, people ask me, what is your citizenship? I say, I'm black, blonde, African-American from Japan. Because this is the end, like they, land, they landed in Japan because they were out, out, out of gas, you know? So I was like all over the place, you know? So I'm like all those, you know? Yeah, all of them, they are white people, you know? All people who support Trump, they are white people. They are red, they are blue eyes, they are red head. They are blonde. Um, yep, yeah, they are, you know, obviously. Obviously, what happened to my mouse? Oh boy. My computer froze. Um, am I heard? I don't know. Maybe I lost internet. I think I lost internet. Do you hear me, guys? I think my internet is getting weaker. Hold on. I mean, look, look, look who is in the front. Do you know, do you, did you notice who is in the front? The front line are black people. And look how they, how much they excited they are. And this is what I like about black people, by the way. Once, once in Europe, I was in Europe, and I went to a church. And the church was for, you know, uh, uh, African. Now, I, I was the only single person is not African. The only person, you know. They have a big, 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 it's like a stadium, you know? I've never been in a place like this. And you should see when they pray, unbelievable. I was the only one, look, I look like I'm not a believer, you know, compared to them. When they pray, black people, they pray from their heart. They are really wonderful people. When, when, when they speak, when they, when, when they say a word from the Bible, they are, they are from the deep of their blood is coming. I mean, look at this. <laughs> it's like an army, you know? It's like an army. Very exciting army. But don't bet on that because the system in this country is not good for election. The system does not present really who people want. The system is wrong. As I told you, California alone, all those people in California. So all the vote of those people, they will go to Joe Biden. Why? Because even though they voted for Trump, as long as the majority voting for Biden, their vote will go for Biden. The system is wrong. It's not like, you know, they count us in, as individual. And then they give you the individual vote. No. Very wrong system.
So now if I if I live in California, thank God I don't, and I vote for Trump, my vote will go to Biden at the end. Because the Democrats, they are the majority, and all the vote will go to Biden. You see how stupid the system is? So all those people, tens of thousands, millions, they wanna they want Trump. Their vote will go to Biden. You like it or not? Yeah, and actually this is a good a good comment here. You know, uh, uh, Chef he said, Chef Dan he says you won't see this in the mainstream media. Okay, question: Why we don't see it? They would not put it because simply this is this is bad. This is really the. the you know how they want to convince people that the black people you know they don't like trump if you are a person who speak against trump and you are african-american they will put you in tv in their in their cnn but if you are a person who is supporting trump they will mute you you are not there and you don't exist actually they insult you they say you're not, you are not even black if you vote for trump I mean, sometimes you notice some people are crazy. What, what this girl she is wearing? She is going going out in the street with her panty. Let us skip this part. Oh boy, she is all over the video. And guys, I don't know if you saw the videos of uh, of uh, of people from the left. They are crying. <laughs> Did you see Trump supporters? Did you see Trump supporters? <laughs> Almost I die. You know, people. They are really. They are. They are mental. They are literally mental. You know. Okay. What if those are supporting Biden? We want to cry. If you go and search their videos, those liberals, they are crying because of this happening. <laughs> you know. The same what happened when Joe, when when uh, when Trump he won. I mean it's hilarious. Actually, one of the things I want to see, I pray that he will win. I want to see what will happen to them one day. The first thing they will start burning cars. I guarantee you that. They will start looting. I guarantee you that. They will attack Walmart and they will take TVs and dishwashers because supposedly this is supposedly against Trump. A bunch of thieves but they will not dare to get close to us you know this is the good thing about America you know we are armed if somebody come to my house want to steal etc you know I will deal with him in America if somebody want to do something to you wrong in your property you have the right to defend yourself that's it and they knew they knew that they can go to stores but they cannot come to our houses so soon the election will come 48 hours and you know because the supreme court now they said we have to count etc blah 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 but if trump he he, he won with this like let us say a slide big win there's no need to count i mean it's going to be announced right away but depend how how close they are but i say i hope that all of you and i'm speaking to those who they are American citizen to go and vote because if you think you can take things for granted you're wrong I'm looking for uh, some videos I look at this guy here Actually, those, those rally they became a very, very exciting event for many people. You know, like it's like a, 
it's like a new uh, a new something new it's like something you really wouldn't see before i mean it's really trump he was able to ac accomplish i don't know maybe trump he should start a new party replacing the republican party i think he can do it that easy because this Republican Party is full of corrupt people, you know? Let us see. I'm trying to find the one I'm looking for. Do you hear it? Latino for Trump. Latino for Trump. Mexican for Trump. Black for Trump. But in the left media, all those people, they hate Trump. He closed the border. He closed the border for Mexican. Mexicans are thanking him for closing the border. Because the border is a place of torture where women getting raped, children being kidnapped and raped, human trafficking, people get killed, drug dealers. This is the truth. Otherwise, the guy is not saying we don't want Mexican. He says, come, but come from the door. Anyone want to come to, to, the, to this country, come. You are welcome. But come legally. Is it fair that somebody, he apply for, let's say, you know, like you have the system, you can bring, let's say, a brother or like me. You know, I can bring people who they are close relative to me, right? Because American citizen. Is it fair that if I have a you know, family member, he have to wait for 20 years, 25 years to get his turn to come? And somebody crossed across the border, he got his papers. Is that fair? So you are encouraging people not to wait for legal, just go and cross the border. And during the, that crossing, the drug dealers are the ones who control the borders. They rape women, they rape children, they kill them, they put them in a container, they die, they suffocate it, all kind of garbage. But in their media, they frame the man to make him look ugly. He is a KKK. KKK? How is that? Where? How? When? <laughs> Actually, I never saw racist people as they are. You know, usually, those who speak too much against racism, they are racist. Because for me, when I see a black person, I don't see his color. I see how good he is to me or how bad he is to me. Regardless of who he is, he is black, he is white, who cares? But if you are racist, you see the color first. You know what I mean? If you are racist, you see the color. You don't see the person. But color of a person have nothing to do with him being bad or, you know, there's wonderful people from any ethnic and there's bad people from every ethnic. There's a criminals, there is rabies, there's from white, from black, from Asian, and there's wonderful people, one amazing from, from all of them. What does this have to do with anything? But if you are a racist, the first thing you see, you see a color. This is why actually I'm against anyone like, you know, when, when they say when, when Biden, he says, I'm going to hire uh, uh, someone from the people of color. What does that mean? This is racist statement. You think they are supporting you. The fact they are not. And he brought you this Kamala Harris. She is not a black 
I mean, since then, how, how do black look like this? She is not black. But in order to win election, to be there, they label her as a black. They made her black. They change even the... So if you vote for Biden, you are black. If you don't vote for Biden, you are white. But Biden himself is white. I mean, do you see how stupid they are? Always they play the race card to fool, to grant that black African, they will be fooled and they vote for them. And now Trump is making them so worry because more and more and more black people are joining Trump. They know that they're being fooled. There is a, I saw an, I saw an ad. I don't know if I can, I, because I don't remember names. You see, for me, I don't really remember names of those who work in politics, few of them only. Uh, there's a guy, he's an African-American from the same uh, uh, district uh, there's an there is a there's an African American woman. She is, uh, I think she's a congresswoman. She's an old woman. I don't know her name. So he's he's going against her, and he is he is Republican. He is supporter of Trump, and he's black. So he made an ad. I wish I can find you his name. I don't know if if somebody can help me. He's from California, and the woman she is an old woman, congresswoman. Let me see if I can find. <clears throat> Uh, uh, I will use my special search skills in in and in, in profit Google piece upon him. I remember nothing about their names, you know. Uh, let us see. Ah, I think her name is Maxine. I was lucky. The first thing came to to in the, I think. Hold on. Let me see the picture to be sure. Let me see the picture. And I want to show you the ad. This person he did who was going against her. Uh, Congress. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let us see, uh, a Republican, Maxine Moore. I will try to find his video. Let us see. Her name is Mexican Moore. Anyone do know the name of the one who is running against her? He is, a, is an African-American too? No, her name is Mexican Moore. Mexican, Mexican uh, Water. Mexican Water, hold on. Mexican Waters. Mexican Water, hold on. Her name is Moore or Water? Uh, her last name is Water, I think. Wait, waitress, Waitress. Waitress. Water. I'm not sure. Google is giving me different... Uh, uh, okay, hold on. I think I found the person. Hold on. Google, peace up and hung. You know, he's helping me. Uh, let us see. Okay, hold on. No. Uh, his name is Joe Collins. Let me see his ad. Hold on. Joe Collins. Thank you, guys. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, this guy, he made a video. Okay. The first thing you will see that they show you how hypocrite those who claim they are going to save the black people. Do you know that those all all those people who in Congress in Senate from the black people they don't live between the black people they live between the white people. Do you know that they live in a very rich area. All of it is white. But they are the one who want to defend the black people. They are the one who present you. So how come they don't live between you? You, you know what I mean? Here we go. I found that.
This is the guy. I ho I hope he will win. His name is Joe. Going against this scam. I'm Joe Collins. I'm running for Congress against Maxine Waters. Do you know where I am right now? Maxine Waters is six million dollar mansion. Do you know where I'm not? Right six million dollar mansion. How she made the money from working for the government all her life? How big your salary is? And she is the one who will save you. She is the one who will speak for the poor people. She's like you. She spent the night and the heater is off. She is shivering from cold. She doesn't have money to pay for her rent. She is the one who cares for us. Same as Obama. Obama got rich. Where Obama he lived? Go check it out. He lived in an area 99% of the population are white, rich people, filthy rich. Okay, Obama, why you don't live between black people? No, he will not. All of them, they are liars. So they use the poor black community make them believe that they are the one. Oh, we have a black man in the White House, so now that's it. No, you got nothing. Eight years in, he's in the White House, what he did to you? Nothing. Actually, you are way more poorer after he became a president. And now, this man is exposing them. I'm Joe Collins. I'm running for Congress against Maxine Waters. Do you know where I am right now? Maxine Waters is six million dollar mansion. Do you know where I'm not? Stop. I'm going to expose you now. Yes, it is six million dollars, but guess what? It's not the USA dollars, it's a Pakistan dollars, a ruby. It's like you know, you can buy a shoe with it. Hello. Only six million dollar for a house. So how much money she have in the bank? You know, when you buy a house for six million dollars, do you know how much tax you pay every year just for the house? The tax for the house is more than your income if you are an American. I'm talking about somebody from Indonesia. If you are an American, the tax in California for a house will be more than your income for ten years to come in one year. How she can pay it? Okay, forget about the price now for the house. She paid the price. The tax alone is more than your income for many years to come. The tax for the property, not to mention the insurance, not to mention the security, not to mention the heating, the cooling, you name it. They are poor. I feel sorry for her. She's there to present us. I mean, should we send donation? I received a donation yesterday of uh, in the last 48 hours, 10 dollars, 11 dollars. Should I give her the 11 dollars I got in the last 48 hours? I think she needed. How she cover all those things? I mean, we have we have to so, so support this woman. She is working hard to support the community. I'm Joe Collins. I'm running for Congress against Maxine Waters. Do you know where I am right now? Maxine Waters is six million dollar mansion. Do you know where I'm not right now? Maxine Waters district. Yep, that's right. Maxine does not live in her district, but I do. I was born right here in South LA in a place Maxine refuses to live. Maxine Waters does not drink our water. She does not breathe our air. And while she sits here in her mansion, our district is in ruins. Let me show you. This is South LA. I was born here. I grew up on 104th and Normandy. Maxine Waters has been in office for 44 years. Has anything got better around here? I can tell you firsthand that it hasn't. I survived a drive-by shooting in this house when I was a child. Gangs, 
drugs, violence. That was my upbringing. And where was Maxine Waters? Nowhere to be found. I survived Maxine's district. Graduated high school, went on to join the U.S. Navy. I fought for this country. But while I was fighting for this country, Maxine Waters could not be bothered to fight for her own district here in America. And when I returned from war, I came back to my community as a war zone. And why doesn't Maxine Waters want to live in her own district? Because she doesn't want to suffer the consequences of her own policies. South Los Angeles has been represented by Maxine Waters for 44 years. What has she done for this district just this year? What, what are you talking about? Look behind you, man. I mean, this guy is lying. What are you talking about? The fingerprint of Maxine is... Look, look at this. I mean, look where she live. Fancy, clean street. By the way, why streets are so clean in rich area and so garbage in poor area? Eh? Maxine is not there. <laughs> and she is in the office for 44 years? She is ancient. I mean, what? There's nothing, nobody left in the country? 44 years? This is remind me when I went, when I was in the Philippines for like a few weeks, I did seminars. I went to a city, it's called uh, Batangas. And then in the way, uh, I paid, uh, you know, money to the guy who collect. It's a, you know, transportation bus, like public. Uh, so the guy, he asked me, he said, sir, I have to pay you back $44. I said, how much? He said, 44. I said, say it one more. Sorry, not that, uh, 44 pesos. Uh, I said, how much? He said, 44 pesos. I said, say it one more time and keep the money. <laughs> so he said, 44. And then he came back to me. He says, do you want me to say it more? I said, no, that's it. Come on. You know, before dying from laughing. 44 pesos is like this than a dollar. Anyway, so I wanted to help the guy. Uh, 44 years, brothers and sisters. She is in the office as Democrat. She hates she hate Trump. Trump is corrupt. Trump is rich. Trump is, you know, 44 years. She never lived in her district. She never know the name of the street of her district. Live between white, rich people. Six million dollar house. 44 years. So beautiful. I mean, she deserved to be elected again. 44 years she is for you. I mean, you, you, you people don't ask her what she did. What she did. So those people are very important to expose the lies. This is a person who is a poor person. He is one of you. He lived between you. He knew your pain. He served in the army. He from a poor family. He still live there. Like, you know, when some people, they get like better life, supposed to income, right away they move. He's there. He lived there. Why we don't elect this person? Community has a war zone. And why doesn't Maxine Waters want to live in her own district? Because she doesn't want to suffer the consequences of her own policies. South Los Angeles has been represented by Maxine Waters for 44 years. What has she done for this district? Just this year, deadly crime spiked 15% in South LA, much of it due to gang activity. The homicide rate in South LA has shot up by 53%. South LA has the highest poverty rate in the city with the crippling 43% of its residents living below the poverty line. Meanwhile, in LA County has a homeless population of over 40,000 people. Homelessness rates has 40,000 people in a county are homeless. I mean, you have to be proud to be a Democrat. I mean, look, we are successful. We make you now enjoy camping. Don't you like to be camping in the, under the sun, the rain? How many of you love outdoor? Be honest with me. All of you, you like outdoor activities. And by the help of the Democrat in California, we will make you live under the sun, 
The rain come in the top of your head. You hear it. Very beautiful. The birds, they will do poo poo on you. Organic. Very beautiful. You want to go and do poo poo? You poo poo in the road. Beautiful, fertilizing, organic. You want to pee? You want to piss? For free. It's for free. Beautiful. What do you want more? I mean, we have to vote for those people. Only 40,000 in a county. So who is in the house then inside this county? Has increased by 264% since 2009. Los Angeles is one of the largest hubs of sex trafficking of young girls and women. LA is in the top 10 least safest cities in America to raise a family. And our schools fail our children. Stop. Did he say it's the less safest city? You see, you know, the reason I'm not getting married because I'm afraid that my wife, she would have her mother and my mother-in-law. So now I get an idea. I get married. I invite my mother-in-law to California. This is the less safe city in America. She will not survive there for two days. Thank you very much for the information. Bingo. Now we get an idea to get rid of the mother of law in case she exists. So if you have a mother-in-law and now you are trying to get rid of her, you move to the county, you move to LA, and it is the less safe city protected by Maxine. You will get rid of your mother-in-law and maybe you get, your mother, you get rid of your wife too, you never know. <laughs> I'm just joking. People will take it seriously and I'll start moving there. Don't do that. I'm just joking, okay? This is one of the largest hubs of sex trafficking of young girls and women. LA is in the <laughs> top 10 least safest cities in America to raise a family. And our schools fail our children. In South LA, 29% of black children never graduate high school. Look at this. How many little Latino and black children has been abandoned by Maxine Waters? This is the reality for children every day in Maxine Waters District. Maxine doesn't care about our district. She only cares about herself and using our tax dollars to buy mansions. When Maxine fails to lead, riots and violence surge in our streets while our buildings and businesses burn. Maxine sits safe in her mansion, guarded by the same police she demonizes. You know, the, the <laughs> what's funny about them the police are evil, but they have them around their house all, all the time. I mean, they don't go out without security, without bodyguards, without guns. They tell you we need to stop using oil, but their cars are the most fancy, who use the very, a lot of oil. I mean, we cannot afford it. You yourself, you cannot afford not only buying the car. Let us say you get the car she has for free. You cannot afford even to pay the gas for that car. This is the truth. Maxine has never had to deal with violence or riots in her neighborhood. That must be nice. But this is the way the rest of us lives. We need someone to represent us who lives here, who fights here, who wants to improve our way of life. Someone who understands we need safe streets and a strong economy. Our children should never have to grow up living in fear of being killed like I did on this block. You send me to Washington, and I'll make sure our children never have to live in a war zone. Unlike Maxine Waters, I know the pain that crime, violence, gangs, homelessness does to our children. I was one of the kids left behind by Maxine Waters. I'm gonna fight for safety and dignity for South LA. The only question you need to ask is this. In the last 44 years, where has Maxine Waters been? Where Biden was. Where all those scumbag where they are in their mansion. Did you see you go to stores, you find a commercial of clothes made by Michelle Obama? I mean, those people, they never have enough money. Why you are making commercial for clothing? Money. You never have enough. 
never have enough. Those people, in case you do not know, they have a salary to cover them until they die. Security, salary, cars, gas, health insurance, everything they need. He's a former president. Why do they need more money? Why someone, she is a wife of a president, she need to do make commercial for a t-shirt or for a perfume. It's a scam. They are money worshippers. Their life, their life is, is secure forever. Right now, Joe Biden, he is not the vice president, but do you know that wherever he go, he have a secret service with him? Yes, until he die. Him and his family. Cars for free, gas for free, security for free, health insurance for free. But they don't have enough. They want to stay in the top of your head until they die and suck your blood. Why somebody is in 47 years in the office, he cannot be replaced. Isn't it enough? I mean, did you give him a chance already? No. One of you mentioned a name. I want to check it out. I think she's an African-American lady. She is going for uh, Congress too. Let me search her name. I'm not sure if this is the ad. Yeah, maybe this is her. Let us see. Do you care about black lives? I do. And unlike the people that currently run Baltimore, I actually have a plan to make life better for black people here. Walk with me. I want you to see this. Kim Klasik. This is Baltimore, the real Baltimore. This city was once among the most prosperous, populated, and powerful cities in America. So what happened? Our leaders abandoned us and Baltimore fell into ruin. But it doesn't have to be this way. None of this has to be this way. A broken Baltimore does not have to be our future. And that's why I'm running for Congress, because I see the city differently. I walk the streets of Baltimore and see what could be. I want you to see what I see. I see Baltimore that picks up trash. Okay, you did not come in, you know, I, I believe the other guy is, uh, is doing way better. I don't like this uh, graphic and she hit the ground with her shoes, high heel shoes. Okay, you know, I support you to win, but your commercial is not right. Anyway, so as you see, I mean, it's a business. Nobody present us. All of them, they remember you in the election day. Second day, they will say to you, get lost. Who are you? We do not know you. And we do not know even the, even those who supposedly the good ones. Maybe in the future they will get corrupt, but you know, need to change them then. Don't put somebody in the office forever. This is the best way to keep them away from corruption. Because the more they stay there, the more they have rich people friends. As simple as that. The more they have connection with the rich people, businessmen. Give them two years, let them do their best. Four years, 10 years, not 44 years. What's wrong with you? No, I'm not allergic to high heels. I'm scared of them. Did you see the pictures? There's a woman, she hit her husband with high heels. If I ever get married, you know, I will put big sign, high heels is forbidden, you know, from this point, like from the from the yard, you know, no high heels for security and safety reason. Actually, insurance company, they start charging people for uh, insurance for high heels because a lot of injury happening because of high heels, you know. There's two things you need to be worried about from women, their nails and their high heels. And if you if they have both you are dead that's it i mean it's it's over your history forget about election now 
There's something more important, you know. Nails and high, like, come on. I mean, not only they have nails, no, they want to have high, so high heels like a nail, you know, like big, you like a 12, 13 inch nail will go on your head. Like what, you did not do shopping? What, you did not buy me a gift? Like what? And okay, what you would do now? You would go hide between, you know, behind the neighbor next door. Before you arrive there, she would throw her, her in, they can go for long distance, those, uh, you know, high heels, you know, they are like, like a missile. And, you know, women, they practice that, like, you, know, you will see a woman, they go in the park, they put like a sign of a man, and they, they, they throw their high heels on it. <laughs> I'm just joking. They don't do that. They don't, you know, they don't put a, a sticker. They put a real man there. Hello? <laughs> anyway, so I'm not going to keep you for long. Please go and vote. Otherwise, this stupid man, Biden, and his corrupt mafia, they will take over. And I assure you, if a Trump, he won. And I pray he will win. But prayer alone, you see, the Lord, he says that prayer alone is, you know, is, 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 a, is, a, is, a, is a dead prayer. You know, faith. Faith is dead faith if it's not with work. So go and vote. It's good to have faith he will win. But faith alone is a dead work. You know the tree from the fruits. So if you are a tree with good faith, with good faith what is your fruit? You want to keep the man there? Go and vote. Otherwise, the fight is big. They are doing anything they can. People receiving hundreds of Texas messages from Biden campaign. We, we, we Nobody getting anything from Trump. This is showing you how huge the difference between the support he received from everybody. Doesn't, you know, you, you do your part. Don't complain about the scam from now. But you go and you vote. All right? So go and vote. Otherwise, you will get those corrupt people all over us again. And I hope this time, if you if you win, actually, I hope he will be able to, to change the law of YouTube. Because, you know, YouTube, they can take the video of the president. They are protected. Did you see what Twitter is doing? Facebook is doing? Even the president. So what do you see? They took a Christian Prince video down. I mean, what you can do about it? The president himself can do nothing. So if he won this election, he will change that law. So we can sue them if they are doing things unjustly. Which is extremely important. Because those want to start, they are, they are decide who going to talk, who don't talk. If you look at my channel, it's empty. I have no, I have no videos. I have only one video left there, you know? There's nothing. Why? I cannot keep my videos. They strip me from any donation. I can't receive donation. Why? You will see a Muslim speaking about cutting heads. He can't have donation. I cannot receive donation in YouTube. Simply because of what I say. It's like a mafia. They want to dictate you. They want to they, they harass you. To speak, okay, you wanna you wanna get donation? Speak as we tell you. If you don't speak as you as we want, you will not receive a donation. This is the truth. And I I did not apply for their donation because each time we do it, they take it down. And I will receive an email saying uh, after reviewing your channel carefully, we notice that it is against our guideline. You, what is your guideline? Huh? What is your again? Somebody speaking about there is people who they are praising the killers who kill in France and they receive donation in their channel. Me, I'm against their guideline. Like, do we teach hate? Do we teach racism? Do we, what we do? No, I'm just sharing with you, you know, this is the truth. It's a mafia. So Trump, when he is fighting, he is not fighting for a presidency. He's fighting to change the system, a corrupt system. 
they made a law to protect those companies and they became monsters. They became more able to do things more than the government. They are way bigger than government. If, if you ask yourself right now, let's say you bought a ticket, airline ticket. Then suddenly you receive an email from Google remind you that you have a ticket. They are spying at us. You have a ticket. You have to leave. They knew at what time you will go. They knew what time you will, you know, they knew your birthday. They knew where you live. They knew everything about you. They are the biggest intelligence corporation ever. For how long? So, you know, we want, we want Trump to win so he can change all this garbage. It's time for this garbage to go. Your, your vote is not for Trump. Your vote is for your freedom. And look, they want to tell you they don't want you to have guns or they don't want you to they want they don't want you to have anything they want to strip you if you go right now to guns shops you will see a long line people buying guns like crazy thank god i have enough enough for the coming 10 years <laughs> Look like I know what you want to happen. <laughs> yeah, so uh, let us go and vote. And is it possible that Joe Biden might win? Absolutely. Absolutely. Because they are powerful, my friend. They are very powerful. And this time they are working hard, not like in the time of Clinton. In the time of Clinton, they were relaxed because they thought this guy is a joker. Nobody will vote for him. I mean, this guy, look what he's saying. You know what I mean? This is why they were relaxed. This time they are preparing. Th those people, they start impeachment right away after, before he even take the oath. They start talking about impeaching him before he do his oath. So their anger is beyond imagination. And they use their gang like Antifa and the communists, burn cars, and they will do the same if he won the election but trump would take control of them but we need to make him go back in the office so he can fix what he was not able to fix in the four, first four years i want to say thank you guys for being here we pray that uh, trump will win and i pray that all of you will do your part your duty and prayer alone is not enough prayer would work is a tree with the fruits. Prayer without work is a tree without fruits. So good tree, give good fruits. Show us your fruits in the election day. Go and vote. Thank you. May the Lord bless you. And thank you, Lord. Our internet, we did not lose it today, which is wonderful. Until we see you again, Christ is Lord and everything else is false. Take care.